Three tips to help you sleep better. So for those of you who don't know, caffeine has a half-life about five to seven hours. So it's good to have a time that you cut yourself off of caffeine for the day. For me, I go to bed at 3 p.m. So my cutoff time for caffeine is around noon. I know that might not be early enough, but that's as early as I get to handle because I love my caffeinated drinks. To get into a routine, try to go to bed at the same time every day, including weekends. Obviously, you might have stuff come up where you have to stay up later. But do your best to keep a consistent schedule if possible. Have a routine. A lot of us ladies already have this, but maybe as a guy you can develop your own. That could be getting into your pajama, flossing, brushing your teeth, doing things in the same order. With me, I'll also take off my makeup, put on some moisturizer, and take some melatonin. Three, take melatonin, but there are studies going both ways. Some people argue it doesn't actually work, that you want to take it about a half hour before you go to sleep, or even a few hours early. So experiment and figure out what works best for you. I actually use a placebo method that I call it. So I buy the lowest milligrams of melatonin possible, which is one milligram. I actually break the tablets in half and only take a half. So it's half milligram of melatonin. I genuinely have trouble believing that actually works, but it does have a placebo effect on me and I sleep great. And who knows, maybe it is actually working. I just, I don't know. But you could try something like that to see if it tricks you into sleeping better.